round one, and here we go with our main event for the cage 001. Back in action. Azuz is fast, so is Adil. Both are fighters, fast fighters. They are good striker, Ooh. and we shall see the boxing. And now Azuz with a lovely defense. I love the way he offends. I love the way Adil's moving on his feet, guys. Azuz is moving. Lovely hug from Azuz. No, no, I love the way Adil is moving, guys. He's fat, he's, he's composed. Yes, he's yeah, very he's composed very indeed. Well, Azuz is just... Oh, swinging. Azuz is swinging them overhands, and if it hits, it's gonna be a nightmare. Guys, oh, lovely if, cross if, from Adil. If anything, it looks like Adil's the one who's been in, in 10 fights and not Azuz. Yeah, he's been, lo he looks more experienced. But you know, that's Azuz's style. Azuz's style like to be hittable. Like a lot of fighters, they are, they got so much hit, but they got the finish at the end. And Adil shot that takedown and he got in deep, but he bailed on it. I don't know why. We'll see what Adil does. Oh, oh and that spinning elbow. Spinning elbow by Azuz onward. Azuz onwards got that unorthodox striking, so you don't hey, know what's coming he's at weird. you. He's weird. Lovely oh, cross! Lovely cross! Hit, and then he won't stay down. He wants his head, but he's out. Adil is doing a great job defensing. Azuz has that Shaolin monk energy. Yes, sir. Yes, Azuz sir. Is so much movement. Oh, look at that left He, he doesn't man. even look when he threw it. That's weird. Oh, another cross. When you're that awkward with your striking, it's very unpredictable because no one could mimic this uh, yes. in your training camp. I believe it makes the other opponent ha very hard Ooh. for him to be able to get that and see the looks. Lovely shoot. Lovely that shoot by Azuz. Azuz took that. Azuz, Azuz finishes the takedown. Yeah, he made We'll see how the experience of Azuz will help him here to stay on top and score points, or will he aim for the finish? And as for Adam, I think he has to stand up. He's gonna use the fence probably. Lovely elbow, lovely and short uh, elbows from uh, Adil and from uh, the ground. Adil's got the submission stats from the ground, but he didn't capitalize on any one of them. And now Azuz is in top control. We'll see what happens from here. I love the way he shrimps and trying to get his legs out. Adil, Adil looked experienced Ooh. on the ground. Lovely switch. Is, is, he, is he taking the armbar or triangle? Adil's got that triangle, but he needs to get to grab his leg. Okay. Oh, Azuz, Azuz is out. And now side control. Azuz very experienced, postures up and gets out of that submission attempt very easily. Ah, Azuz. Oh, Azuz is different level though. Experience is scary. <laughs> yeah. Adil is trying to lift him up, which is ridiculously could happen. Ooh, oh my goodness. What a nice switch Azuz, off. Yes, Azuz switch up, reverses the takedown and ends up on top again. We're back in guard position. Adil is looking for any way out, he's looking for the submissions, we'll see what he does. One of the Azuz's strengths is that he literally is so flexible and he can, he's a hyperactive lad. He can move from anywhere and switch you and bang you from anywhere. Yeah, but he needs to stay aware because Adil's got some dangerous submissions from his guard. We shall see who's the better man tonight. No one has, uh, has landed any significant damage so far. Strikes on the ground because both of these fighters are just scrambling, going in and out of submissions. And Azuz, we'll see if Azuz can advance or if Adil can stand up again. From my point of view, Azuz is very hard to be on the floor. You can't hold him down long. You just need to keep working and staying out. He is attempting that Kimura, but look, he's already defending it. So he has to look for the other side. But guys, Azuz is not that dominant over Adil on the ground. I think Adil should stand back up and take Azuz down on his terms. I agree, but the thing is, uh, Adil is looking for submission while Azuz is way better. He is he's looking for the ground pound and he is pressuring him so hard, so making him very uncomfortable for him. So he is breaking him mentally. So we shall see, is he up to date and he can still fight back? We'll see now. Adil relentless with the submission attempts. He's attempted like four submissions until now from his guard. And now he's trying to stand up. Azuz keeps Azuz. Great job. Yes, great job gripping that leg, stopping him from building a base and standing up. Azuz needs to keep his hand off the fence. And now Azuz advances position and he's inside control. Okay. Adil puts him back into his guard. Guys, I didn't need to stand up. I didn't need to stand up. I just up. need to capitalize on this and look for the finish. I don't like that much of pressure. Ooh. Yeah, it's good, but come on, pal. It's not easy. I I believe so, but just get some blood in the floor. <laughs> it's 
very hard, I met because Adel's, Adel's bottom game is very, very advanced. Azuz can't build a base on top of Adel. But you know, I can tell you what, this fight is is really entertaining to the level that I yeah. never can expect. Both, both, of, both, of, both, both are level. experienced, both are hungry, and they are looking for the win. They want to build their career. They are taking it very seriously, Man, which goes, which occurs them to get the best version of themselves on the main night that we are witnessing. And both are very high level, by the way. I do believe so. And we still have four more rounds because this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> and Ahmed, the great Prince Faris, is giving the little sneaky advices to Adil Muhammad to be able to get guys, the win tonight. Is looking at us. I'm, I'm getting a bit, the pressure is getting to me, guys. And now for the, the crowd is all in the feet. And now for the second round of this main event, both are very high level fighters, but I think Adil's keys to victory are gonna take, are gonna be take, take down Azuz, but on your terms. Don't go to the ground on his terms, because Azuz's stop game is from another level. We'll see what Adil does, takes a glimpse at us. We'll see what he does in this round. Well, obviously, obviously we us. shall out give a big I shout to the most beautiful say. smile <laughs> bird in the house right now. <laughs> All right, that might be the last time. This is the last fight, so make use of your. Make <laughs> <laughs> yourself free. Enjoy your seat, and here we go, back in action, round two. As nice. that's just, oh, Azuz oh, with that straight away. heavy hook. Lovely uh, Azuz low kick. with the low kick. Adil still trying to find his rhythm. He's very composed. Azuz is very open when he strikes. I love, I love the composure of Adil. Yeah, Adil is very composed. Lovely until body shot with Lovely Azuz. body shot. Azuz is mixing it up, but he should, should be careful. Oh. I think Azuz is going to take. It's going to go for the takedown. This is the best bet. The way that Azuz swing his left hook is so, so weird. <laughs> it's effective so far. Yeah, Azuz's boxing is a bit unorthodox. He keeps on moving in these weird ways, so you never know where the punch is coming from. It comes from weird angles. But who's who's holding the center of the cage? It's Adil it's Muhammad. Adil Muhammad. Yeah. Adil Muhammad. Some He's controlling the pace. Adil Ooh. with some nice feints. Those hooks, man, they're Azuz coming from nowhere. Azuz is just swinging. Azuz is just swinging. Guys, can we appreciate the matchmaking made by Islam Siyah and Ali and Deal? This is very high level. Islam Siyah is one of the best in Egypt, and I'll tell him for the third time, happy birthday, mate. <laughs> very nice stylistic Lovely. matchup between both of these gentlemen here tonight Guys, in the main event. Lovely knee at the end of this this Ooh. engagement. Nice, nice boxing combination by Adil. Adil's maintaining. Ooh, oh, and another takedown take in the bank from Azuz and Adil on the ground. And Azuz takes him down on his terms again. Uh, I'm not feeling good for Adil. Oh, uh, Adil attempts another triangle choke. Azuz postures up and tries attempts to pass the guard, and I think he does. This is a chess game. Yeah, man, Look this is very, very Look. high level fight on the ground, guys. Yeah. Is that a heel hook? Nice to heel yeah, he, he attempted a leg lock, but he couldn't come. Uh, he couldn't finish it. I love how Azuz holds that leg, grabs the leg. Now he's side mounted. Keeps him from standing up. That's a high level fight, guys. And now That's Adil is inside control. But I think he's gonna stay here for long, guys. Adil's bottom game is very high level. I think he's gonna put him back in his guard. Azuz has very heavy hips. Yes, Azuz is very heavy indeed. We'll see Adil if Azuz can bridge. advance. I think I need to bridge or come to the gap. And he's straight Ooh, into mount. Ooh, Azuz advances to mounts very slick. Transition indeed, Meza. And now Azuz trying to ground and pound. Looking cool. Adil is in a Adil, big Adil. trouble. Adil is in a big trouble. Uh, Azuz shoots, shoots for the rear neck choke, but it's very... Adil knows it's better. very slippery. I think he can't get no, to I his th back. I think it's because he's, he's not taking his time. He needs to put the hooks in first. He needs to, to, be, to, to have some pressure on Adil and then go for the submission. I absolutely the agree with you. And the other thing from Adil, Adil is just so holding Adil his is taking oh. him down. Ooh. Adil is now switching the pace. Yes, sir. Yes, down. this is this is exactly what Adil needs to do. He needs to do some offensive wrestling as he has been training for and as he 
now I think now we'll he see what... heard you and he's just doing so yes he's got the oh, double he under the fence right he held the fence the first time <laughs> I think if he didn't help hold yeah, the fence, he would have been down. Yeah, this is, a, this is a fight-changing uh, illegal move by Azuz Anur. He held the fence, and this is why Adil Elbus. couldn't take him down. Okay, think, lovely uh, Elbus from Adil. The referee should yeah, the referee stand should, him stand him up, should stand them up or something, because that, that fence grab was not good at all. We shall see what is going to happen. Now I feel Adil in, is in trouble. He needs to shrimp out and get up. He's using position. that Kimura just to buy himself yeah. some time. He's, but the thing is, yeah. Azuz is holding his neck, so he will never be able to get that Kimura from this hand. From no, from this yeah, hand. this is the first line of defense against the Kimura, as I might say. I think he's trying to stand up. <laughs> I think he attempted to take his neck, but he couldn't. And he's still doing so. Azuz just disengaged and strike pal. Come Ooh. on, that's what we need. Now we see a standing oh, Lovely takedown. He took his knee. Nice take and this one can pop out his knee. That was lovely shot. Nice takedown by Azuz. Goes in very low. That's a low. very high level Adel's of wrestlers. Is he going to finish the Kimura here? adil has got so much trust in his Kimura. He keeps on shooting for the Kimura. He needs to get his knees in to be able to and flip Adel. it out. So Adil is attempting to stand up with the Kimura grip that he's got, but Adil's got, uh, Azuz has got control Look, over where is, Adil's hips. Where is his hand, his hand next to his... Yeah, this quads. is the defense. This is the Kimura defense. It's That's why gonna... it's hard to get it. You can't beat that quad. Oh, he's, he's off. Is he going to finish the Kimura, but his... No, Adil's got his knee. foot. Yeah, Adil's knee. got his knee on uh, Adil. biceps. Sir, my bad, guys. Right and now Azuz Anwar is in oh, his Oh, he control. saved by the bell for the next the time. Finishes the round on top again. Adil should put the pace up and we'll see what happens. It's very similar to round one. Now, yeah. big shot for the matchmakers. I can see the fairness in the fight. And it's it makes everyone its learning process. We got the opportunity and actually, to the skills. Yeah. And, now and as are. you're talking, I met the matchmakers right behind us. Happy oh. birthday to Siah. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> these guys man this fight is, yeah yeah very, very high level fight i agree and i have big respect for kadia for doing such a great thing tonight yes sir ali andil is looking at us right now he's standing he's watching the fight very closely he's smiling at us right now guys i think what adil needs to do is to keep his distance stay away from the unorthodox boxing of azuz anwar and shoot for the takedown and and actually commit because i've seen some glimpses of his wrestling Adil shot for the takedown in the first round and he bailed on it. I don't know why. What do you think, Ahmed? Would I ask for a favor? Go ahead. I just want to see at least three minutes of boxing. <laughs> but I agree. I totally agree with you. This is MMA, man. Yeah, I know. I know. I totally agree with you. If he kept his range and he's tried to pop in and out and look for the finish, it's going to be way better for him even to break his mentality because Azus feels like I'm owning this. Azus feels like I'm already winning this. But the fact that he couldn't get the finish, that he's not winning yet, so there is a chance in every second of the fight. But I so, think uh, Adel is, uh, he wants to see that. I mean, we saw Azuz, he's the one who attempted the takedowns. He's yeah, the one who was trying to grapple even more. Yes, man. Yeah. Azuz is more active in the striking department, but I think Adel's seeing something in the, in the striking. Here we go back in action round three. Ali, Adil coming out in southpaw. Ali is controlling the cage as always for the three three rounds. He's doing the same. I don't like how Azuz is dipping he's his head swinging, down. He's just swinging. Yeah, he's, he's not looking. And he's he doesn't dipping look his when head he, down. He doesn't look when he threw the punch. And that's the most dangerous yeah. thing to do. Adil, needs, Adil just needs to maintain his distance and, and, and catch that guy with the knee or an uppercut up the middle because he keeps on dipping his head. Ad, Azuz keeps on dipping his head. Azuz is a very hyperactive. Oh, the lovely left, left hand from course. Adil. Lovely. Guys, I'm smelling a finish, guys. I'm smelling a finish. I don't know. Come on, Adil. I think Adil with that left hand. Another shoot, another shoot for my... Oh, my goodness. He always take that leg so easy. Wrestler all day long. Oh. Once he wraps around your, both of your legs, he's going to take... Guys, Adil's going to stand up. Adil's going to stand up. Guys, I can see that Adil is doing better job on the, on the floor. Guys, Azuza Anwar is just too experienced on the ground, guys. Adil was already up, but he took him down again, and now he's you in know, top control. I, th I, th I think we've seen this scenario twice already, and we know what's going to happen in this round, but, but you never know. My heart is with Adil. Adil needs to stand up. Adil needs to get that fight back to striking. You know, Adil, and Azuz needs to continue doing what he's doing. I what do you agree. Think, I, mean, I agree. 
a lovely elbow. Oh. And Adil, look for the will. If he has the will, must be stronger than the skill. So he can get it. Indeed, indeed, Ahmed. And he keeps on dipping his head. Adil should go for a knee or something, but he's... Right. Yeah, for a knee. Or even Spro, he never sprawled. I'm surprised that he never sprawled. He's from SB. I'm kind of surprised about this. I think he's used to he's used to bullying his opponents in the wrestling. He's not used to being shot at. Right. Uh, for me, like Azuz, he's, he's like he, he's taking him down because he knows he can get knocked out. So he's yeah, avoiding yeah, to be yeah. standing Adel, up. Adel, you know Adel, Adel is very dangerous on the feet. But I'm surprised that Azuz said um, background is boxing. Where is that? Am I... Oh Ooh. my goodness! <laughs> what that flip? Very unorthodox takedown by Azuz, but he's taking Azuz advantage. Azuz is a very hyperactive athlete, has a unique taking... different ways to show his skills. Yeah. I've never seen it before, to be honest. He's taking advantage of every position. And, and now Adil is in his feet. Lovely. No, no, this time, pal. Oh, he took it. He took it. This knee. Oh. oh my goodness, that's a frustrating This must be very frustrating for Adil. Adil is trying to secure a guillotine choke. He's trying to, let's see if he gets it, but I doubt he gets it against the very... Ooh, experience guys, I think this is deep. I think this is deep. It's deep, but he is very experienced. Do you think he's going to tap? Oh, the crowd is I cheering for Adil. Guys. Oh, the crowd is their feet and cheering for Adil. Some people can finish it from the half guard position. Is he able to do that tonight? We shall see. Oh, he's out. Azuz is out. He's so experienced, like I said. Azuz is too smart, guys. He's too smart. He's too slick. Guys, we need to not forget the conditioning of both fighters are up to date. We cannot deny such a thing. We still have two more rounds after this one. Sure. I tell you, if Adil focus on his well and he believes that his well is way much stronger than the skill in front of him, he will finish that fight. Well, I'll, I'll put money on that. Yeah, Adil, Adil striking his next We shall step. start bitten from the next one, yeah? Yeah, but Adil is striking his next level, man. Adil I want on... to see it. I want to see it. Bro. Yeah, man, Adil keeps on clipping Azuz on the feet, but, but he doesn't have an answer to Azuz's takedowns. Adil is like, <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? I want to finish him while I'm standing up. Yeah, Azuz just wants to stand and bang while I... I Come on, Azuz, do different thing, mate. Oh. I know I'm not supposed to say such a thing, but... Adil is I punching. want some blood. I want okay, Adil to come out. Okay. But Adil, Adil is punching him on the back. Adil is getting a bit desperate because the other guy just doesn't want to bring the fight. He's, he's, he's doing the but, top. May I ask you a question? Like, what Azuz is aiming for? Like, okay, he's holding his pressure. He's doing what to do. He's winning the fight. I think he's just yeah, I know, but he's fight. not looking for a finish. And that's kind of fighter. I don't kind of see much. Yeah, but he's not. I don't think he can finish Adil. I don't think he can. This, this is the problem here. Look, I agree with you, but I want to tell you one thing. If you are in his position, there is nothing called I can't finish. You gotta finish even if you have that. Best man on earth in front of you. He can't. It's a 50 50 at the end of I the day. Ju he just can't get Adil out of there, man. And he now got it! And he again. got it! I'm waiting for the Adel finish! Adil is going Spro, for that mate. finish. Spro, Spro. Fucking hell, man. We apologize, guys. I'm sorry, excuse my language. It's bit British, sorry. Another takedown attempt by Azuz. And, and the, the third round, one, uh, round, third round is done. Guys, whenever, whenever the round is over, Adil has another chance of finishing this fight because the f every single second in the striking is in Adil's advantage. He keeps on clipping uh, Azuz. What do you think, Mazin? I think, yeah, he has a, a slight advantage in the stand-up game. I think uh, for this round, we're going to the uh, championship rounds. Azuz has been relentless with his takedowns, with his pressure. I think he's a human Blood being. Down. If he keeps on the doing this, ever. he's probably I gonna gas out. Best. So hopefully he's gonna plan his energy. He's gonna be more efficient with his yes, That's the championship rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, you are here for a retreat. So please enjoy and appreciate it. Okay, well, thank you fight, all for the coming. The fight ends here. It's a three round fight. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there, yeah. Oh. Oh, so maybe. The, I think oh, we, now I this think changes so, think, everything. Yeah, this changes this everything. Changes I, I everything. think we know what was gonna happen here. Right. Wow. And now, and now to make it official, Rakib and Nasiri. Yeah. Backwards. Yes. Uh, regardless of the judges' scores, 
we was all a know, good fight. Yeah, both of them performed very well and on to Rakim. Experience came out on top. I imagine. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too, but the judges may disagree, so we have to listen to Rakim now for the official decision. You never know how it goes. After three entertaining rounds, the judges rendered their decision, scoring it 30-27, 30-27, and 30-27 to their winner by anonymous decision, Azuz drawing board and I think we'll see you very soon Adil. One thing, there is no shame at all from Adil. Yes, he sir. came he came prepared, he done his job, he just need to do more work in the wrestling and, and I think he will be able to show his case 100%. in the future. I agree with you one hundred percent. Adil we're gonna see you again and now big celebration I, for the big boy yeah, as soon as enjoy your moment mate. Yeah I think Azuz gets the mic now we're gonna hear what he has to say for us. But he's not that much of a talker, guys. Yesterday in the press conference, he kept on saying, we're going to see what ha what's going to happen tomorrow. And we saw what happened tonight. Yeah, he was dominant. He's done what he needed to do to end the fight. And very smart game plan. This is, this is where the experience comes into play, the fight IQ. He's very smart, Mezin. He done very what he needed to do. smart in the only way that he executed his game plan. And that makes the fighter even better to be able that he believe in his abilities to be able to show his attributes in the fight in the meantime of that war itself. Yeah, and, and Azuz claimed that he's a very good boxer, but and now for a word by Azuz Anwar. We'll, let's see what team, he has to say. Team, boxing, boxing team, uh, Captain Baha and Captain Mithat. They uh, are with me in the process. And alhamdulillah. أكبر تشالنج ليك واجهته كان ايه؟ أه 70 كيلو في الامارات هنا في قضية في قضية ما هو فيش غير الحادث الاخير ده بس اوكي مبروك كونجراتشوليشنز بشكر طبعا الخصم بتاعي لاعب راجل شكرا قوي والله عشان ما كنتش متوقع المستوى شكرا Shukran. I think he indeed was not prepared for Adil Muhammad striking. <laughs> he was surprised, didn't he? Yeah, man. That's such a humble but speech. As, as we were saying, guys, yeah, he's not a man of many words. Yeah, he's very humble. And we, we but we need to look for a matchup for him. I yeah, saw like, he didn't know any fighters around. Well, as there is a lot of Egyptian fighters now in the race, and they are coming for in the world. <laughs>